This video talks us through what species abundance is. In other words, it's how many individuals of a species are present in a certain sample area. Percentage frequency and percentage cover are both measures of abundance. So let's start with percentage frequency. Percentage frequency is a measure of how often a species occurs in a sample. So if we were to take an environment and we could sample this environment using quadrats. And if we were to throw the quadrats out, we could record in a data table how often we observed a particular species in one of our quadrats. So in this quadrat, we can see that we only observed the bush sample. And in this quadrat, we did have a small bit of this one. Okay. If we throw the quadrats out again randomly okay, and we do the next one, there was nothing in quadrat 3. In quadrat 4 we only have this sample. Okay. Close our eyes and throw them again. Okay. This time we have a little bit of this one. Over here we have a small bit of that sample. Throw them again. This time, oh, let's go with this one first. We only have that species. And this one, we only have that species. Two more quadrats that we throw at random. My eyes are closed. And there was nothing in either of those ones. So we leave those blank. So if we were to work out percentage frequency now, it is just how many times did that species appear in the quadrats. And this time we had one or two out of the 10 quadrats. So in that case, it was only 10, 20% uh, frequency. For this one, it was in three out of the 10 quadrats. So for that particular species, it would be 30% frequency. And the final one, we only found it in two quadrats. So again, we could say that this particular bushy species has 20% frequency. That's how we go about calculating percentage frequency. It's a little bit different if we're going to look at percentage cover. Percentage cover asks us how much space a species occupies in a particular sample. So again, we could take that sample and we could ask ourselves how much of the species covered in each quadrat. So in this case, we could look at this quadrat and say, well, that's about 25% cover. If we were to throw it out again, there's 0% cover for the particular dotty species. Let me throw it again. Okay, It's again 0% for this species, but we could calculate the percentage cover for the bushy species. To work it out as a whole, we could then work out the average percentage cover. So that's one way for percentage cover using quadrats. Another way is to use transects or line transects. So if we take that same species and we lay out a line transect, we can calculate how much of that line transect is covered by a particular species. So in this case, if this is our transect, we would want to know the distance from this to here, and that would be A. And from here to here would be B. And from here to here would be C. And this whole transect from there to there, that measurement becomes D. So how do we work out percentage cover? Well, we would add up A plus B plus C and divide it over the distance, the total distance covered. So in this case, D. And then we would multiply that by 100 to give the percentage cover. In a, any sampling event, it wouldn't just be one line transect. Okay. A ecologist would go and do a number of different line transects and work out the percentage cover for each one. Okay. And this one, it would be much lower for that particular dotty species. But if they worked it out for each one, then they could work out the average percentage cover for that particular species in that particular environment. 
So this video has talked about species abundance. We've looked at species uh, percentage frequency, or how often a species will occur in a sample. And we've looked at percentage cover. Okay. I hope you feel confident about those two aspects.